Window washers of Reddit, what is the most memorable thing you have seen while on the job? I used to window clean hotels, which meant going room to room with a master key to let myself in. I've seen quite a few dildos and vibrators being proudly displayed on bedside tables, but the one situation that stuck with me the longest was just walking down the corridor and hearing two middle-aged people going at it in one of the rooms, it was a Georgian hotel in the Cotswolds so very echoey, their screams were getting louder and louder and people were actually coming out of their rooms because it was so audible, all the housekeepers at the end of the corridor were doubled over laughing. That couple had no idea how intimately they shared their experience with us. A tornado. We'd had little warning before we saw it about one kilometer away. It didn't appear to be moving side to side much, which indicates that it's coming towards you. We winched down about four floors, jumped onto a fire escape and got inside the building. Rode out the storm inside and then went home. Oh, one of my first jobs I worked as a window cleaner in a little town in England for a year maybe, saw some sights. Once saw an old lady getting changed, nearly jumped off the ladder in fear but luckily didn't see anything, was in charge of collecting the money though and it was real awkward. One time an old man sat in his armchair and watched me intently with a deadpan expression as I cleaned his living room windows, three of them, I was pretending I couldn't see him, but I could. Boss son also worked with us and literally all dogs hate him, no idea why. Watched maybe 15 dogs chase this dude over the year, one bit his ass cheek so hard he had to get stitches lol. Had to clean a four story building on a hill and boss used to prop the ladder up with two bricks under one leg, super unsafe, while I shook my way up the ladder. All the window ledges were also covered in rusty nails to stop pigeons from landing so I'd be like 40 foot in the air on an unstable ladder, shaking, trying to clean a window behind 100 giant rusty nails. Terrifying. My favorite story I was cleaning away and looking at this guy's room and noticed a skateboard, I'm also a skater, and thought oh damn I recognized that deck, it belonged to a guy I'd met like twice at the local park, the next day I was at the skate park and walked over to him, bear in mind we've exchanged like 8 words before this, I sat next to him and kept a complete stone expression and said hey you look like the kind of guy who'd have black bed sheets he was like wtf I do have black sheets. I was like with white squares, I bet your room's blue as well and was notably freaked, like how the fuck do you know all this? And then I had to drop it, I'm your window cleaner mate, saw your deck in a room yesterday ha uh, ha. Fast forward 11 years and was currently my oldest and closest friend. Thank you I'd forgotten that last story. Edit, added commas. Edit 2, oh shit my first award, thank you kind stranger. Not a window washer but I was the victim. It's a Saturday morning and I wanted to have a nice lie-in. My headboard for my bed is up against the window so I sleep facing away from the window and have to turn around to see what is outside, to open the curtains. On this fateful day, I woke up to some sound but it wasn't alarming so I just carried on as usual, stretched, then turned around to open my curtains. Then I see his face. The window cleaner clearly didn't expect me to open the curtains and got a little scared. I too didn't expect to see someone's face looking back at me through the window, early on a Saturday morning. He saw me almost fall off my bed in sheer terror. Paying him at the door when he was done, was funny. We both laughed and pretended it didn't happen. This was 25 years ago. Cleaning second floor windows in a hospital from ladders. I arrived at a window to see a lady giving birth. The child was probably half in and half out is as best as I can describe it. The people in the room were so concentrated on what they were doing they didn't notice me so I made a hasty descent. A couple of windows further down, same floor, I see a man pacing up and down with his hands behind his back. Dark hair, tidy mustache, around 30. We'll never forget his face. No idea why he wasn't in with his partner but I had no doubt this was the father. Skip down a few windows. 3 minutes per window including moving the ladder so not that long and I arrive at a window to see the lady being wheeled in on a wheelchair with the baby in her arms, the other mothers, maternity ward, clapping, and the father walking behind with a huge beaming smile. It felt like it was out of a movie with a camera following the story. Quite unforgettable. I work for a private estate in the local polo club. I was under the impression that the owners were not home at the time, but I was wrong. 
I was washing windows this particular morning and I came around to the restroom window and got an A prefect view of this older couple in the shower together, the window looked out on a private fenced in patio, so that's why it wasn't fogged glass. The window by the toilet is the same way. Bad design in my opinion. I've never moved faster in my life than I did catapulting myself backwards out of view of this naked couple. I don't believe they saw me because the next time we ran into each other, everything seemed normal from their end ha ha. Not a proper window washer so to speak but the clothing store I worked had the insides of their big from windows cleaned every Sunday morning by a staff member. A lot of the time it was me. Now people could come into the mall and wander around we just wouldn't let them in the stores. This is because the upstairs was a food court and open. So one morning I'm in the store on the little ladder cleaning the window and I spy this dude standing just kind of out of the way of my line of sight but he can see me. I'm thinking great, it's 8 a.m. on a Sunday I'm possibly still drunk I don't need this crap it's too early. So I turn around to call my manager over to point him out so she can call security. While I'm turned around he runs up to the window, waits till we are both looking and pulls out his dick and wanks all over the store window. Yup. He was escorted out and arrested and one of them all cleaners had to clean the mess up poor dude. There was then a flawed high necked top found that all the girls had to wear when washing the windows because apparently he was getting off on seeing the cleavage. Just a Not a window washer, but I saw a window washer dressed up like Batman while cleaning the windows of the cancer ward in the hospital, grandmother had cancer. The child cancer center was through a different door on the same hall as the elderly, 60 plus, cancer center. I was 9 at the time and thought it was awesome, cheered me up for a while. It was last summer. I was cleaning my dad's car with the help of my little brother. It was a bright sunny day and I began cleaning. After completing the outside cleaning of the car windows, doors etc, I began to take off the carpet kind of stuff from inside the car to dust it off. Finally when I was polishing the bits of the dashboard, I noticed something glimmering from within a crack on the dashboard. Holy shit! Guess what? It was my mom's wedding ring which she lost a year ago. It was in the car but in a small narrow crack. I wonder how it must have gotten there but I remembered happiness on my mom's face when she found out about it. If you are married, you probably know how much a wedding ring is worth. Not in terms of money but its value in memories. I gave it to my dad and told him to put it on my mom's finger. OMG, it was so wholesome to see. They even took us to malls that day, and bought me and my brother a hoodie. Just wanted to get this out and I found a perfect opportunity. Edit, thank you lovely strangers for decorating my comment with your love and kindness. I really appreciate it. A friend this at a hospital, saw a couple dead people getting prepped for the morgue. Not a window washer but. I live in a two-story building so we don't really bother with real curtains in the bathroom, we only have an extremely thin, see-through white fabric over the window. The doors in the shower are glass. So, on this fateful day, I was taking a shower and my mom had unfortunately neglected to inform me that our gutter was getting repaired that day. So you can imagine my surprise when while I was just minding my bussiness, getting soaked up in the shower, naked as the day I was born. All of a sudden I see the figure of a man ascending into the the frame of my window. I am not proud to say I completely panicked and just dropped to the floor. So, dripping wet and covered in soap, I made my way, crawling over the bathroom floor to open the door. I escaped. The worst part is, that at that point the guy was probably so high up that he saw everything. The most horrifying moment of my life, but it does make for a good story today. Not window washing but as a kid I had a paper route and on collecting's day I knocked and looked through the screen door to see what appeared to 11 years old me to be Mrs. Jones inflating Mr. Jones by his valve stem in the middle of the living room dot 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 that was a good summer. Oh, I have a good one. When I was doing my PhD one of the other students had to wash windows at the weekend to make ends meet. Anyway, he was washing a block of flats one day. He didn't know this but the block was home to a female lecturer in the same department as us. He washes the window of her bedroom and she walks in completely naked. He stares in shock, she grabs a towel and it's over. The next day she files an harassment complaint about him because she assumed he was pretending to be a window cleaner to see her naked. Luckily his employer could vouch for him and the matter was dropped. Very awkward. 
I rap L buildings in NYC as part of my job. It's a job that already draws attention but as a female even more so. However, while on rope it's quiet and you get to peer into the lives of others. Did a drop last Monday and I can 100% confirm that people do not wear pants while working remotely. The best thing I saw was a small girl playing with a giraffe toy right on the windowsill. Scared the shit out of me as her little face came into view like 3 inches from mine. She screamed and her mom came in, her mom proceeded to tell her girls can have awesome jobs if they want them, and we took selfies together. Worst I've seen, repelling hospitals. Was not prepared for the sheer amount of suffering behind those windows. One guy was on his computer wearing complete death metal attire. Spiked hair, full body leather and heavy and I mean heavy mascara, eyeliner. He was facing the window and in turn me. He locked eyes with me the entire time I was doing my job. He looked like he was going to murder me. That's when I saw what he was watching on his computer. My little pony. That's when his demeanor changed. He realized what I saw and smiled from ear to ear. This is more of a window watcher than a window washer thing. I had a good friend who lived in an apartment in New York City with his brother. Across from their building was another apartment building. Immediately across from their window was the window of an apartment occupied by an attractive young couple, male, female. Like clockwork, just before dinner time every single day the couple would leave their curtains open and engage in a prolonged fuckfest. My friend would come home from work, grab a beer out of the fridge, pull up a chair next to his brother, and watch the pair that they eventually dubbed the fornicators do their business.